So hemophilia is actually a type of blood clotting disorder and it is a hereditary disease also. Now the main process, the main problem in hemophilia is that the people who are having this kind of disease uh, may find the clotting process very long, very prolonged and that will be leading to loss of a lot of blood also from, uh, from in case an injury is happening. It's basically a hereditary disease. Here you can see that different types are the hemophilia A. In case of hemophilia A, the eighth clotting factor will be deficient. So that is the main problem. And it's a more common type of hemophilia. And present in input 1, maybe 5,000 to 10,000 may per. So that is the, uh, the, that is the uh, proportion of hema people have been affected by hemophilia A. Then another kind of hemophilia is the hemophilia B. That is the ninth factor deficiency. So there are two types of hemophilia. One is 7, 8, 8th factor deficiency. Another is ninth factor deficiency, which is known as a hemophilia B. But it is more rare, affecting 1 in 20,000 to 34 male birth. So it is mainly affecting male, because male have an X and Y type of chromosome. So even if one, for one gene is present in a male, that gene will be expressed or that gene will be uh, expressed in male. But in case of female, two copies of the gene is needed. So that is why females are not affected, only males are affected. Like other recessive sex linked or x chromosome disorder, hemophilia is more likely to occur in male than in female. So the, 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 there is higher chance of hemophilia developing in male compared with the hemophilia occurring because in order to develop hemophilia both X should carry this defective gene because females have two X chromosome hemophilia is very rare and the chance of female having two defective copies of gene is very remote that is why hemophilia is very rare disorder so females are almost exclusively asymptomatic carry asymptomatic means they do not show any care problem. For example, a mother is having a hemophilia gene and father is not having any problem. But if they have a girl child, the girl child will not be having any problem. But if they have a son, the son will, may, may will have a hemophilia. So this is how the hemophilia will be normally affecting the family. So non-linked hemophilia, <coughs> that is third type, non-sex-linked hemophilia, due to coagulant factor 11 deficiency uh, which is which can affect either sex is more common in use of as as can see our population and are higher in other pop only certain use of the particular eastern european region are showing this hemophilia c so b a is there b is the c is there so a is the most common type of hemophilia here you can see that how hemophilia will be a problem in case of hemophilia this clotting process will be very slow so the, there will be some hydrogen threads will be forming but sufficient formation of hydrogen threads may not be taking place so that is the problem in the case of the hemophilia and hemophilia is a sometimes known as a royal disease because in British royal family, these uh, several members of that family have the uh, are carriers of this hemophilia gene, and, because, and that is why it is sometimes known as royal disease. So people with hemophilia have lower clotting factor level of plasma, uh, blood plasma, or impaired activity of coagulation factor needed for the clotting factor. So hemophilia does not bleed more uh, in uh, a hemophilia a person does not bleed more intensively than a person without it but can bleed for much longer time so normally when we have an injury after 10 minutes our clot may uh, of, uh, formation may take place but in the case of a hemophilic patient that may last one hour two hours sometimes more than two three hours so that is the problem of hemophilia so they have to be very careful there is no treatment for hemophilia but in case of uh, severe cases, they have to be injected with the clotting factor. But other than that, the only thing they can do is that 
prevent any kind of uh, cut for cut happening on their skin. So in severe hemophilia, even a minor injury can result in blood loss lasting days or weeks or even never healing completely. So you can, under, you can see the problem, how severe it can be. In, such, in areas such as brain or inside joints, this fat this can be fatal and permanently debilitating or damaging. That is the meaning of So this is the idea regarding hemophilia and hemophilia is a genetic disorder and mainly affecting X chromosome. It is not present in Y chromosome only in X chromosome. <coughs> that is why uh, here I will show you how hemophilia See, you may be able to see some picture showing hemophilia, transmission of hemophilia. See, here you can see that. So, there is a picture showing here. See, this is how the female, the father without hemophilia and mother is a carrier. And you can see that if they are having a daughter, daughter will be a carrier. But daughter will not be having the symptom. But in case of a male child, male child will be showing hemophilia girl child may not be having hemophilia. Now, if the father is hemophilic, mother is a normal person, now if they are having uh, children, son may not be having hemophilia. That is one situation. And then another situation, doctor may, may, may not be also showing hemophilia because the situation is that doctor may be a carrier. Third uh, case is that the son may not be without hemophilia and daughter also a carrier. So, the, uh, so these are the four possibilities that can happen if the father is hemo hemophilic, that is if they are having girl child, uh, 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 they will be carrier, but if they are boy, boy, uh, boy, when boys are found, they may not be having any problem. So this is how, how this hemophilia genetics are actually working.